Welcome back to the huddle. What an absolute roller coaster of a season so far. There's been massive scores looking at you, Gareth Widdop, and players getting injuries like Nathan Cleary. Before we take a look at the round three scores, there's a bit of exciting news. The league Supercoach Huddle Instagram is now up and running. So be sure to head over there and check it out and follow along for some Supercoach fun. There'll be a 100 point prediction each week and for round three, Widdop was predicted to crack the ton and he absolutely smashed it. There'll also be memes. My wife will be giving her blase Supercoach tip for the round and there'll be player information and updates. So be sure to head over and get involved. Contrasting last week, there were no tons, but there were still some players who performed well. It was great to see the new recruit Tohu Harris score a try and post a solid score. Smith bounced back, Hiku crossed for a try as well, and it was great to see Lodge post a decent score to help his value increase. Latrell Mitchell finally bagged some attacking stats, scoring a try early in the game against the Knights. His base stats though are still a concern. And finally, it was good to pick a decent captain option who got me over 100 points. There were some big injuries coming out of the round, with both Connor Watson and Tavita Pangai Jr. getting injured. Watson looks to be sidelined for quite a long time with a shoulder injury, and TPJ might be gone between one to three weeks. So this is a massive speed bump in the money making process for the team, but let me know in the comments section, who do you think I should trade Watson for? I've got the ability to slide Cardi down to the 5-8 spot and get in a second or front rower. And is it worth holding TPJ for one to three weeks? Hamstring injuries can come back here and there though, so maybe it is worth getting rid of him for someone like Cameron Murray. And looking at the MPRs there, it's great to see Kakao making a lot of money with a great score. Ligisau also posted in the 40s and is going to make a bit of coin as well. I originally was planning to play Izako over Cardi, however I decided to go for the more safe base stats, but this backfired by about 21 points, which might be a good reminder to follow your gut. So the total score for round three was 921 points, which is around 25,000 for the round. Unfortunately, it's a red arrow for the huddle this week, but it's only a small one, around 300 places. We are now sitting just outside the top 13,000. So be sure to let me know in the comments how your team went this week. Did you win your head-to-head -head match? And if you copped any of the injuries, what are you doing with those players and what trades are you going to make? Leading into round four, there's a couple of cheapies on the radar, including Adam Dewahi, who's about to play his third game. Although Adam Reynolds is lurking in the background and may return this week or next, so he may not get many price rises. Marshall King from the Bulldogs might be a decent replacement at just over 200k for Connor Watson. But let me know what trades you think I should make this round. I've got about 100k in the bank to work with. So I hope you saw a green arrow this round. Feel free to ask any questions about your team and be sure to subscribe and join the huddle. I'll be releasing the round four preview video on Wednesday. Let's go.